So uh, the advice that people have been giving to us millennials since the day that we went into high school, since the day that we got out of high school, since the day we got into college, since the day we got out of college, is to do something that you love and you will never work a day in your life. Try and marry something that will help make you money along with one of your favorite hobbies and you will be happy for the rest of your life. Now, following this advice, um, I decided to look at myself and the things that I like to do. And one of my biggest hobbies, as you guys know, is lifting weights and going to the gym. So I have decided to explore some career paths related to that. Now, one of the career paths that I'm considering that I haven't 100% made up my mind yet as to if I want to pursue, but it's something that I'm exploring, something that I'm looking at is becoming a gym owner. Now, the most practical thing that people would look at when opening up a business or starting a business, regardless of whatever type it is, doesn't have to just be a gym, is the business expenses. And uh, let me tell you right now, I have not gotten too far into my research yet. Let me show you the bullshit that I have just found. So one of the biggest things that most commercial gyms will have is treadmills, workout bikes, ellipticals, etc. Here I am just looking up the prices of treadmills and as you can see in this little example here, they can range between 500 to 1250 bucks. That is a lot of money for startup capital, okay? And take into account that most commercial gyms will have 5, 10, 15, 20 of these things running all at once. Those are the prices that I see for the cardio equipment. Remember, this doesn't even take into consideration the barbells, the plates, the dumbbells, the squat racks, the, the deadlift platforms. All of those things are going to add up to quite a bit of money. Now, <laughs> if you were to compare cardio equipment, I would say that the most effective cardio equipment that will give you the hardest workouts of your life are a million times cheaper. Not a million times cheaper, but a hell of a lot cheaper than treadmills and ellipticals. Let me show you what I mean. If you have never used a prowler or a sled before for your cardio workouts, you are missing out these things are vicious okay and look at the price range of these these range from 90 bucks to 360 bucks and these are from rogue canada which is uh the higher end things now that's just one example of really effective cheap cardio equipment let me show you guys another example that's almost free so here's the second example that's hell of a lot cheaper and almost free. There is a sledgehammer, which is only cost you like what, 10 to 30 bucks. And then that's a huge ass tractor tire. Now here's the thing about tractor tires that a lot of people don't understand. Tractor tires are very expensive to dispose of responsibly. As such, people would much rather give them away to you so that you can use instead of disposing of them which again is gonna eat into their profit margins. So the most you would have to probably pay for them is probably like just for them to uh, haul it to your gym that you're gonna open or frigate, if you have like a garage gym, you could just have them haul it over there or if you have your own truck, screw it, you can haul it yourself. <laughs> Now, here's the third example of cheap-ass cardio equipment that's more effective than treadmills, which is the battle rope. And as you can see, it can range between 37 bucks and 200 bucks. Still a hell of a lot cheaper than a treadmill. So, um, that is the extent of the research that I've done so far. With that, I would like to conclude that if I ever do decide to open up my own gym, it's probably going to have to be more of a strongman slash warehouse style of gym. Um, again, we were just comparing prices of cardio equipment. This doesn't even take into consideration the amount of rent that you would have to pay for like a commercial property. I think it would probably be a hell of a lot cheaper to open up a warehouse gym, like to rent out a warehouse than to rent out quote unquote commercial property. Okay. Um, again, as I said, this, like, this is not final. I have not made of my, made up my decision that I want to become a gym owner. It's just a career that I'm exploring. What I want to know from you guys, do any of you guys actually have, have any type of experience of running your own gym? Um, I would like to know how expensive you guys think it is and how much of a headache and if I do decide to go down this route, um, if opening up a warehouse gym is a smarter decision than opening up a more commercial style gym. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.